Okay, so it's time to do another product unboxing where I get paid zero shekels for any of my uh, musings and unboxings of these products. Now, uh, yeah, I'm one of those YouTubers that actually make zero money off of their channel. So let's check out now an electric heater. And yes, I did not get it from Amazon, but I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond. Okay, so there's an issue in my house, especially in my kitchen. In the winter, it becomes freezing in here. And why? Because when we remodeled our kitchen, uh, um, apparently the contractor used cheap labor. And they must have got the cheap labor from Home Depot, if you know what I mean. And so when they were actually uh, putting up new sheetrock in my kitchen, and I'm not a construction person, so I have no idea about construction, I was wondering why they didn't put insulation in the wall. Um, the walls before they uh, broke out, you know, the old walls that were in my house um, had insulation in there. And I didn't question it because I thought, hey, these guys know what they're doing. So instead now, my kitchen cabinets every year crack, by the way. The cold comes in through the wall and they crack. So behind my cabinets, um, yes, and they crack. I, I get cracks down the side of my cabinet. When you open up the cabinet, the cold air comes in from behind the wall, the tiled walls that as you can see here underneath this cabinet, um, they did not insulate. So what do you do? I don't know, you're pretty fucked and you freeze. And so I had to find something to keep me warm when I sit in the kitchen. Can you imagine this? This is the 21st century. You hire uh, somebody to redo your kitchen and they don't insulate the walls. All right, so let me shut the fuck up already. And let's go over this product. It's uh, by a company called Sunny Days. And I think I overpaid. Oh shit. This looks like shit. This looks tiny. $59 doll hairs. Oh my God, I got rocked. And all right, so let's check out the features. Now you can see with my hand how big this thing is. This is teeny tiny. So let's try to get some kind of measurement on this so you know what we're uh, working with here. All right, so how big across, oh crap, I'm trying to do this with one hand and film with the other, is the heater area. Basically, Oh my God, like six and three eighths across. Uh, what about up and down? Let's check that out. Uh, wow, that's like balls. Look at that. That's like what, six and one half? Yeah, oh, how is this gonna keep me warm? All right, so what are the features? Okay, so you can have a fan. Okay, it says fan, I don't know. Okay, uh, yeah, so uh, low or high, hmm. And min or max. And so I guess this works as a fan also. I don't know. Let's check out the back of it. And by the way, what I did like about it was the fact that it pivots. So you can actually direct the heat. You can unscrew these uh, two pieces on the side. Let's go ahead and do that. And that's actually feeling very sturdy. It's made out of metal and plastic. A lot of metal, actually. The grill uh, feels like, yeah, it feels like it's metal. But are you getting $59 worth of a heater? Well, let's find out. Oh my God. Okay, so when you loosen up the little nuts on the side, uh, it'll actually help you. By the way, here's the logo of the product, Sunny Days Decor. And uh, what I do like about it, here we go, watch this. So you can, oh wait, no, no. Why did they put this here? I thought I was gonna be able to turn this thing like all the way like back and forward well what the fudge what the fudge i'm trying not to curse okay so don't <laughs> note to you guys don't screw i'm trying to like loosen it up too much because it popped out of the side of the housing and i really couldn't get it back in so why did they do this they should have made it so that when you like loosen it up it can tilt like upwards or downwards but i guess that's a bad design hmm all right, let's check out the back. And by the way, I have it loose. And this is the most action you are going to get. That is the most action. That sort of sucks. Okay, I'm not happy with that. I thought this thing, like if I put it on the floor, I could tilt it up towards me. And I guess that's not gonna happen because we have this uh, piece of metal here that when you try to do that, it blocks it. Let's uh, take a look. Yeah, this is like really stupid. I mean, I don't know if I break off this tab, if this can actually, you see, I can't tilt it up because of this stupid tab. Hmm. All right, the back. 
let's check out the back. All right, so we have a fan on the back. So it works in the summer to cool you off. The fan will not actually work, I don't think, with the heater. I think it's just a, a fan also. So it's like a two-in-one type of jammy. All right, let's plug it in now. It comes with a two-prong plug, thankfully. I hate those three-plug uh, prongs because then you can't put it into an extension cord. And the cord is about six feet long. That's uh, actually not long enough for what I need. Okay, so we have, we have to use an extension cord. We're going to turn it on. Apparently, it's 1,500 watts. What I also like about the design, I'm going to give you the pros and cons, by the way, is this foldable handle. So you can carry it around, and then when you don't want to use the handle, you just fold it down, and it makes it more compact. Okay, so here's our product. As you can see, quite small. Is it going to work? I plugged it into the extension cord. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the features. Okay, so power, we're gonna put the fan on. Wait a minute, why isn't it working? Oh, fuck. Wait, oh, that's why, duh. All right, here we go, you ready? You can listen to the sound of it. All right, so I'm gonna Let's feel the fan. Ooh, the fan actually feels really nice. Oh yeah, I get a nice breeze from this. A really nice breeze. All right, let's turn it around and see how fast it's moving. Okay, so there we go on the back. Now I'm gonna lower the speed and we're gonna watch the fan. And now I'm gonna turn it on. Now, what I notice is if you have it on min or minimum, the fan doesn't move at all. Barely. Actually, it shut off. Okay, hold on. All right, so now we have it at this. Does it move? The answer is no. Hmm. All right, let's go here. Okay. Hmm. Now I'm going to raise it. It's the same speed. All right, I'm going to keep going. Does it get faster? Okay, basically, it's either min or max. Um, it doesn't change in speed as you graduate. Mm, okay, that's a design flaw. Huh. All right, hold on. Let's turn it around. Okay, I do feel a nice, nice breeze. A really, really nice breeze. Now I'm going to go ahead and fuck around with the dial. And as you can see, the fan doesn't lower in intensity. Hmm. That's very odd. And then when I go like that, it's off. Okay, that's really weird. All right, let's go with the heat. We'll go with the low heat. And nothing happens. Why? Do you have to do this? Ah, okay. Actually, oh, okay. All right, I like the feature. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling so... Oh, yeah, it's warm. It's really, really warm, guys. All right, so basically, the fan... The regular fan, by the way, you can hear the sound of this. The regular fan can just work as a cooling thing in the summer. And then when you use the heater, uh, yeah, okay, you can make it minimum or maximum. Let's, it does not seem to really, I, yeah, it doesn't work unless you basically have it at maximum. Let's actually lower it. It doesn't really change in intensity. Let me go ahead and. I'm feeling it. it. Doesn't feel any warmer if I lower the dial a little. But once I go past here, like there, the fan intensity doesn't change. Unless it's basically here. It shuts off. All right, now I'm going to put the highest speed or the highest intensity. And I'm going to see if I feel a difference. And let's see, do we see any heat? I see no like coils heating up but it feel oh wow oh wow this thing is hot yeah this thing i'm standing as you can see i'm standing far away from this thing hold on i'm standing about i'm going to measure about six feet away now i'm going to stand back i'm going to go to seven feet now i'm about eight feet away and i feel it Oh yeah, I feel it. I feel it. All right, so I'm gonna go with. Hold on. Let's. And you can hear the sound. Here we go. Okay, it's loud. I will have to admit it is loud, but 
Wow. Oh my god, I'm boiling right now. I'm actually really hot. This thing is great. Is it worth 59 bucks? I would like it better at a price point of about 35 to 40 bucks. $59? Don't know how long this sucker is going to last. But it's 1.5 kilowatts. Uh, what does that mean? Okay, how to Google it. 1.5 kilowatts is equal to 1,500 watts. So picture a 1,500 watt hair dryer with a large, giant, six and, what was it? Six and three, eight inch uh, diameter or six and a half inch diameter uh, nozzle. And you can get an idea of the warmth. Okay, so what it's, what's my verdict? My verdict is this is a great personal heater. Um, if you stand uh, further back from about eight feet and further, you're not going to really feel it that much. Will it heat up a whole entire room? I'm going to say a very small room. If you have a very small room and you spend hours with this running at full speed, it will warm the room eventually. But a big giant kitchen like mine that's uh, about 15 feet by 20 something feet, this is not going to heat up my whole kitchen. It's just going to heat me up if I have it aimed at me. You follow what I'm saying? Uh, if you have a teeny tiny little greenhouse, this might be good too if uh, you want to grow shit in the winter. Design, they could have did better, uh, done better. I'm terrible at English, as you could tell. If they didn't have this little tab here and this thing would pivot where you can aim it, you know, you can like actually go down and then go back. You follow what I'm saying? So you can actually position it better. The fact that it only moves this much is really a bummer. That's a really bummer type of idea that they came up with. I don't know if you break this tab off. I don't know if then, you know, because as you can see, it's touching the leg. If maybe this thing will actually like tilt all the way back and tilt all the way down and then you can just tighten it with the nut. Don't know. I'm afraid to actually take that chance because I paid $59 for this, not including the tax. And so you don't want to fuck something up. All right. Verdict. Great for a personal heater. I actually got two of these. I'm, I'm, it's a little bit, I wasn't sure how warm this was going to be. So I could have one under my desk and one on the counter aimed at my desk, which is that way. Um, and I can have it blowing warm air on me. It was very warm. I had to give it that. It was very warm and powerful. But as you can see, the minimum or max, either it was max or it was nothing. Um, the gr uh, graduation of the speed of the fan really doesn't make a big difference if you move the control. Uh, so that was a little bit of a design floor. Um, the longevity of this thing, don't know. It seems to be a quality build. You can see it is metal, okay? Metal, metal. Uh, the cord looks pretty uh, sturdy. You can see there. Um, yeah, it's a sturdy, thick plug. Uh, the stand, metal. Right here, it has little rubber grips on the bottom. Um, yeah, it looks like they use quality components. Uh, longevity, don't know. The fan is plastic on the inside. The grill is metal. This is a rubberized, uh, actually plastic handle. It's not even rubberized. Um, the, it's metal here and plastic here. Plastic along the top. Yeah, plastic. And again, the housing or the uh, where the motor is uh, fixed to is metal. Has a really nice retro look to it. Uh, again, you have that like cool fire engine red. Uh, longevity, don't know. All right, guys, this is another unpaid review. Hope you enjoyed it. I would say if you can get this sucker for under 60 bucks, buy it. I would uh, spend no more than... I'd say $39.99 for it, $40. Bucks. I think I overpaid it $59.99 plus tax. Um, I did get free shipping. Yeah, it's not worth $59, but it's worth $40 or less. There you go. So long. Thanks for watching. And if you like my video, hit a thumbs up. Uh, I'd really appreciate it because I did do your homework for you. <laughs> and uh, yeah.